Derry, one of the nice surprises at uh, an event like the AEA 2009 convention is that there's not only great toys, but new toys, or in some cases, great toys with new tricks. I understand the 3500's got uh, a few other tricks in its sleeve. We do. We pride ourselves in continuously improving our products, and with the uh, already successful SN 3500 and 4500 series HSIs, the addition of our SG-102 AHAR system now plays very nicely as a quite a nice safety feature built into it. Typically, the AHARS is your heading source, which is pretty non-eventful, but if you had a horizon above this instrument, which a lot of helicopter operators are finding is the case, if it failed, you will now be able to flip a switch anywhere on the instrument panel, put it into a reversionary attitude mode, and now you have HSI, navigational information, and horizon all in one instrument. It's an incredibly inexpensive option to the instrument, and it saves you possibly a five dollars or $6,000 electrical uh, standby attitude indicator having to be put in the panel. Obviously, we would like to sell the SG-102 AHARs, but we do publicly advertise that any AHARs wired to our system via Air Inc. 429 will net you the reversionary attitude mode if the option is purchased. So it is that simple. So we basically have taken a situation in the past which was a borderline emergency, loss of uh, primary attitude information and turned it into, well, well, that sucks, and let's just go on to plan B. That's correct. Uh, we really have incorporated all functionality of a Horizon and HSI in one instrument, including full capability to do a full ILS. You can still select different nav sources, you have lost no functionality, you've just lost part of the view, that's all. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. So from the humble beginnings, uh, I remember seeing these initially in the early uh, Cirruses as the 3308, uh, which was an amazing, if anything, a, a, a landmark device at the time. This thing has just come a long way. Well, I think the biggest advancement we are most proud of is the display technology and the lamp source, lighting source in the back. Every unit we build now is with a high intensity LED light engine patented and designed by Mr. Jerry Block, our president. But as you can see, there's virtually no restriction to the viewing angle. The daylight visibility is unmatched by anything in the market. And with new requirements in helicopters as they are, we're seeing a lot more EMS operators, law enforcement, and everything wearing night vision goggles. Now this offers us an opportunity to make it Class B night vision compatible without covering the display with filters, okay. which is typical and costs a lot of money and in a lot of cases voids the warranty on the, on the product. Oh, no kidding. Because you can't peel it off without destroying the display. Oh, okay. Makes sense. So, with a light source back here, our engineers got very clever and at the flip of a switch that so could be anywhere in the helicopter, you can put the unit into Class B NVIS compatibility. This has been tested to military standards. It, it is in military aircraft now. It is in several law enforcement helicopters. Absolutely class B, fully compliant. And then when you want to go back to daylight visibility, you just flip the switch. And as an sa added safety feature, we have given two choices during the installation that if a wire or the switch broke, mm -hmm. you can wire it so that it defaults into daylight vi visibility okay. or defaults into NVIS. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. Going back to the reversionary mode that you displayed before, what kind of uh, penalties are we talking about in terms of weight or, or installation and ultimately what cost? 
The uh, most economical solution is with our SG-102A HARS because in a fixed wing aircraft, this unit is only $4,500 retail okay. for the whole AHAR system. For helicopters, we do make a ruggedized, high vibration version, which is $5,400. The option, which is software loaded into the HSI to allow it to go into a re reversionary attitude mode, is $980. You gotta have a gyro, anyway. This is cheaper than most spinning mass gyros, but it offers you both attitude and heading. And when that's all tied together, you get the beautiful reversionary mode. And most dealers are going to find that when you buy this and this together, you get reversionary attitude for free. Any chance can that be certified as your standby? You know, it's an interesting question. We just recently got certification in our Citation S2. Mm -hmm. It is Part 25 certified for primary heading and secondary attitude. So that was quite a move, quite a monumental certification. Uh, we still fly with a standby Horizon in the S2, but it's an experimental ship and we're doing an awful lot of flight testing with it. So, so with, with all the glass panel frenzy out there, Sandell is not being left in the dust by any means. Oh no, no, it's a niche market. Not everybody can afford or wants a, mm -hmm. a panel covered with glass. It is getting to be a real cost issue. And I think we've got some very, very economical solutions. Jerry, thanks so much.